Hey, good day, try Ben here. So, welcome to the Q and A, which um, includes questions from you guys who are patrons on Patreon. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna have a little bit of fun today, and uh, I'm gonna answer a few questions and uh, I'll let you guys get to know me a bit. So, first question is from uh, Sharon Urime. Uh, <laughs> sorry about the name, mate. But she asks, uh, why did you start making ASMRs and uh, how did you find out about them? Just curious. Um, you know, it's funny. My girlfriend actually showed me ASMR as a joke. She was like, uh, hey, Ben, check this out. Uh, this is weird poozin and she's uh, just tapping on the mic and making a bunch of weird sounds and it's got millions of views. And I was like, yeah, that is weird, but uh, I kind of liked it, and uh, <laughs> I actually started listening to ASMR, and started out with uh, just trigger sounds and uh, things like that, and eventually I came across uh, roleplay audios, and I was like, ah, oh, this is a thing, uh, <laughs> I started listening to those as well, and I became really fascinated by, by the storylines, and and how many people would uh, respond in the comments and, and say that it was uh, helping them through a rough time. And I began thinking, you know, well, maybe I could do that too. And uh, so I uh, started a channel and I didn't know at the time that uh, people wrote scripts. I just thought uh, they just kind of turned on the mic and, and, and talked. And uh, that's what I did for a long time is just kind of picture... Uh, somebody there right in front of me and I just had a conversation and uploaded it and uh, people responded and they seemed to like it so uh, I kept going and eventually I met Morgan Audio who <laughs> introduced me to the world of uh, script writing and she's like you know Ben most people don't just improvise audios they they sit down and and write scripts and I said oh mate I, I don't write scripts I never have and so she was very kind and kind of showed me through uh, through Google Docs how to write a script. And it started with you know, the Werewolf series, which <laughs> she talked me into doing. Um, I'd never done Supernatural or really any kind of uh, fantasy storyline. It was all boyfriend audios. And she challenged me and, you know, said, I, I really think, you know, you could pull this off. And I said, no, I don't think I could. And, you know, she egged me on and she said, Luke, I'll help you write the thing. And through writing that series with her, I found my uh, sea legs, so to speak, and love writing scripts now. It's one of my uh, favorite things. So that's a bit of the, the evolution of my SMR channel and kind of uh, why it is what it is today. Okay, so next question is from Becca Harding. She asks, uh, who is my favorite villain? Um, and I had to specify, I was like, are you talking about you know, comics or movies? Uh, she, she, was, uh, she said movies. So, God, that's a tough one because there's so many good ones. But I think, ultimately, I think it comes down to the Joker uh, in Chris Nolan's The Dark Knight. Uh, it's just a hard performance to beat. Um, I remember watching it in the theater and thinking to myself that I was watching something special. Um, that it wasn't just another movie. That this was something so pristine and, and groundbreaking. And I, I was just uh, absolutely amazed at, uh, at the skill and the acting. And there's just no doubt about it. Uh, favorite villain. <laughs> All right, so next question is from Marsha M. She says, uh, if money were no object, where would you choose to live and make your audios? Um, you know what? I gave this some thought and it didn't take me long to realize I'm right where I want to be. Um, I, I live in the Southeast United States and I have, uh, for about 15 years, I have an amazing career, you know, to do something I love and I have an amazing woman and a, you know, she's just my best mate and, uh, I'm just really happy where I am and couldn't imagine going anywhere else. Uh, so yeah, making audios here and 
getting to do what I love with who I love. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm kind of living the dream. Okay, uh, next question is from Shadow Gear Audio, and he asks, how did you and Morgan coordinate the Vampire Werewolf series, and what was the method used to communicate it? Uh, well, in the beginning, uh, we would schedule a Google Doc session and meet there and uh, kind of go in a little chat bubble and just talk about, you know, where we see the story going and you know, Ben's character versus her character and how they were going to, you know, kind of uh, collide and, and intertwine and we just over Google Docs. And as I got to know her better and uh, we became really close friends, uh, we've actually met face to face a few times and knowing each other that way. Uh, she has my number and I have hers and uh, we text each other. And uh, if we're getting ready to do a script, uh, a lot of times I'll have her on speakerphone and and we'll be in a Google Doc session together and uh, just kind of talking it out as we go. Um, yeah, that kind of thing. So uh, communication between her and I is definitely unique and uh, it's a gift. And yeah, she's one of my best mates. And it looks like that's going to conclude the Q&A. Uh, so yeah, if you have questions that you would like to ask, uh, I invite you to come over to Patreon and uh, become a patron. And uh, I'm going to hold these uh, Q&As every month or so and I'm going to be taking your questions. So um, if that's something you're interested in, just come on over and uh, join the tribe there. But uh, anyway, regardless, hope you had a little fun today uh, getting to know your cheeky tribe leader. And until next time, be kind to one another, be good to one another, and I'll talk to you soon.